Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The light yeah. 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 Okay. Quick, 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 quick. Picking up, please. And action. Ah, oh, here. Every book I've ever written. Whole continents. Jeffrey Archer, Bridget Jones. Monty Python's big red book, brand new editions, especially printed. Stephen's written um, these two episodes and set them in the biggest library in the universe. It's a whole planet made of books. This library planet idea has been around for years, as just after Stephen Moffat wrote The Empty Child for series one, I then just said to him, what else do you want to write? We'll have anything, please, anytime, thank you. I proposed a couple of ideas, the first of which was the library. And I think at some point we've been going to do that story every year. I think. So I feel, and, I, and it's magnificent, so I feel like we waited a long time to arrive at this library. The library is something terribly futuristic. It's something from the far, far future. And yet it's, it's, it's full of books, which are, which are uh, practical, uh, um, material things, which are, which are almost old-fashioned now. You know, they're not, they're not downloads, they're not, they're not on a screen. Um, they don't exist uh, in any kind of digital form. They're real tangible things. And I think that collision of, of sort of antiquity with technology is, is very um, appropriate to the world of, of the Doctor, I think. We're near the equator, so this must be biographies! I love biographies. You read that script, you think, blimey, we're gonna have to travel a long way away. You know, it's hard. To couldn't find a lot of buildings in Cardiff, and then there's literally an empty library on a huge scale in Swansea, just before it's pulled down or sold, was sitting there. It was like the episode was handwritten for the most perfect location. It was gobsmacking, really, because we'd never been able to ordinarily go into a building like that and, and, and close it down for the length of time we needed. I mean, we were in there for almost two full weeks, and, you know, we needed to completely take over that place. Um, we never have been able to do that. I think it would have cost us a little, you know, we would probably have had to build all that as a set. We wouldn't have been able to get the kind of scale that we get in there and the, the levels and the dome, beautiful dome and just everything that location offered, offered to us. If we set up two wide shots, one high one and one lower one. Yeah, fine. So again, again, maybe playing kind of foreground, something in the foreground and, and just a bit of creepiness. In the episodes, the, uh, the library, to give the impression of more than one room, we ch are changing the colour, the background colour. If we go from blue, we go to yellow, we go to red. So we only have one location, but we're trying to give the impression that it's more, more than one room. Our design team have done a really great job, I think. And, um, and when we came here on Arecki, um, the um, Swansea Council were, were taking all the books out. Uh, which is the opposite of what we wanted. We, we wanted this place full of books and, and fair play, the art department have, have filled it with, with a mile long of fake books. There's not, it's not a single page behind these covers. They're all, they're all pretend, but um, I think they look great. I think most people one time in their life have been scared in the dark, so uh, there is no monsters in these episodes, so uh, the monsters are the shadows in the own imagination. So my particular job is to try and translate what, what is written and the director's wishes into, into that, really. And so it's a matter of making shadows that move. I put lights on, on high stands and lower them so the shadows get shorter and longer. Um, and moving flags in front, in front of the lights, so the light's in a static position, but the flag might move, thereby giving the impression that the shadow is moving towards the, towards the object, towards the person. That shadow is gone. We need to get back to the TARDIS. Why? Because that shadow hasn't gone. It's moved. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.